Now, if you're stuck building something in Airtable, there is a great chance that you have already heard about our interview today. MiniExtensions.com is an incredible plugin, a very affordable add-on to Airtable that helps you kick it up to the next level and really send your database to new heights. Now, before we get going on this interview, I do wanna point out that this is a condensed version for YouTube. If you wanna check out the full version, you'll have to be a member of our mastermind group where we are a group of pro Airtable users. We answer a bunch of questions in there. When people get stuck, we help support one another and you get full blown access to these videos, the full interviews. But we're gonna keep it short and sweet for YouTube. So if you're not a member, you can still get a taste of exactly what that's all about. But if you're interested, do check the link below and explore our mastermind option. Now, without further ado, let's kick into this video where our consultant, Ali, is gonna sit down with Abdul from miniextensions.com and we're gonna get into it and learn all about what they do and also get a really cool demo on their product. I am here with Abdul from Mini Extensions, one of the co-founders. I'm so excited to talk to you today because I'm a huge Mini Extensions fan. I use it all the time, was literally just using it right before this call. Um, so I'm super pumped to get to uh, talk to you and learn more about the inspiration behind the product, where you guys are headed. Um, so uh, what is a bit of your background, I guess, would be a good place to start. Sure. So, um, so. I grew up in Kuwait, and when I was in my teens, I started sort of coding a little bit. Um, I was mostly making iPhone games, but that kind of took me on a journey to start, you know, becoming more of a software engineer. And eventually, I was while I was in college, I was actually at a career fair, and I ran into the, um, the Airtable team. At the time, it was very small. I forgot which year it was. It was probably like 2015 or something. It was very, very small, um, but it was super kind of, uh, I was caught up by surprise. I just, it was, it seemed like one of those things where I was like, oh, wow, this is kind of uh, a lot more powerful than I expected it to be. So my brother and I were kind of, you know, just for years since 2015, always looking into Airtable. You know, he was at the companies that he was working at. He was incorporating Airtable more and stuff like that, <clears throat> you know, using Zapier, that type of stuff. But we were always just like, we were always surprised by how much more there is to do and how little tooling there is. Even though there's like giant companies surrounding this whole ecosystem, just always caught by surprise because of that. Um, eventually though, we decided let's make a, um, it was like a make an iPhone app maker through Airtable. And that we worked on that for a couple of months, didn't really catch on, <laughs> didn't work out the way we wanted, but um, that actually got us started with mini extensions. So what we're doing right now is kind of just a different approach. Um, initially we were like, oh, let's make people, let's allow people to like, you know, figure out how to design an iPhone app. And in a, in a quasi way, it was like, oh, this is no code. But I mean, the, the term no code has this, like there's often this notion that no code in and of itself is a good thing, but it's not the no code that's good. It's the simplicity of setting up something. Um, and we just didn't have that. So over time we figured out the simplicity, which is, pretty much any extension should be set up within one page very easily. And there should be, um, our, our, our original rule was, there should be a one minute video that explains how to fully set up the extension and use it. Um, and over time that worked out well, uh, we built a bunch of extensions. At this point, we're probably like um, crossing maybe a hundred. I'm not sure exactly how much, but right now we're focusing on um, about three main extensions that we're putting most of our effort into. Um, so, the top extension that we work on is the form. And the goal of the form is to make it so that Airtable forms are as powerful as they can be specifically for Airtable. There's a lot of, mo there's a lot of very powerful t uh, forms out there. The problem though is they're kind of not designed for Airtable and it makes it much harder to have your data actually go into Airtable in the exact way you want it. Um, so, that's most of what we're focusing on, you know, the ability to edit records, add records, linked records, um, sort of like very advanced linked record stuff that we can get into. But, but yeah, so that's the top one. And then we have a, a couple other extensions where, um, where the goal of them is to allow you as the admin of an Airtable base to have some sort of way to share with outside people outside of your organization 
to share records. And that means, you know, whether it's viewing, editing, creating. Um, and we think that those two things alone are gonna be major focuses for us. And that's pretty much gonna be it. Um, we're, we're mostly right now even thinking that the form itself, even though it's very advanced, we're thinking we have not scratched the surface yet. There's so much more to be done. Um, and yeah, I mean, I can, I guess I didn't talk much about myself, but yeah. <laughs> no, that was perfect, seriously. And, and I think that for me, that was really what turned me on to mini extensions at first as well was the form capability, like being able to, I mean, there's so many different use cases for it, of course, but like, namely being able to add line items or, or records to other tables. That is huge. A large part of why your table is cool and powerful is linked records, right? Like it's, it's essentially like the thing that separates your table from anything else we've used in the past. And um, what we're trying to do is figure out what are the things that can be done in a form specifically for linked records that have a large use case and have not been uh, done. So for example, just the ability to have a record add other linked records, like create linked records, was not really possible before we started working on this. And then from starting that, we realized, okay, well, you can add the records, you can edit them. Okay, what if the record was actually a barcode? You, you can just scan the barcode and create a record. And we just kept going down this road. And yeah, there's, there's, I, I just feel like the, the, that feature alone in and of itself could be, you know, could take 90% of our energy and we would still probably be, there's still probably going to be more to build, you know? So I figured we'd, we'll start with the form. So the goal here is to show you how, um, so the, the first one will just be a, a simple form, but the idea here is you have buildings and this, I'm just gonna do a couple of demos on this space. And um, let's say these buildings, you know, you got property managers and you wanna give them a form where they can edit and make updates to a building. Um, you know, update the units, update the tenants, et cetera. So you give them this form URL and this will take you to the mini extensions form. And um, what you'll be able to do there is you'll be able to edit those linked records. So the units, you'll be able to add new units if you want to. And you can sort of have this be a, kind of, I don't know how to explain it in a, it's, it's like a nested linked records editing system where you can, for example, let's say I want to edit Hillcrest too, right? I can edit it. And then I want to edit the tenant within it. So I can just edit the tenant and we can do this forever. You know what I mean? So, um, Actually, let's showcase the signature feature that we talked about earlier. So let's say I want to sign here and just add that. And that'll be added as an attachment to that record. You know, you can make whatever changes you want here. Sorry, this Zoom thing. Um, so you save that, you know, that record gets immediately updated. There's no delay whatsoever. Everything is instant. Like all the data we're getting is directly from your area table. You know, there's no 15 minute sync or anything like that. And um, yeah, so I edited that. I can add new tenants if I wanted to. Um, so why don't we just do that? Uh, let's do, I don't know, Mike, whatever, um, save. And you know, that's a new added record. Now it shows up in Airtable automatically linked to this record. So the idea really is to make it so that you don't have to like worry about, is this linked to this? Is this, you know, is this being connected correctly? Everything just kind of feels normal as if you were in the Airtable. Save this and then, um, yeah. So I just figured we'll show a couple of more features here. Um, if you notice here, this field is not editable. You know, you don't want your users to be able to edit everything. So we give you more and more customization on what kind of access they have. And um, if you notice here, this is a linked records field, not editable. And um, yeah, I mean, you can't change anything with it. Um, you can't, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. So I'll just save this. And yeah, you can go into Airtable and you would be able to see that new tenant show up right here. And that's just a quick one of the form. Mm -hmm. I can show you now the, um, let's go for the, for the form with lookup. So that form, right? You needed to get that URL to the person. And that's kind of an issue because that means you have to send each person a URL. Mm -hmm. So ideally the person would go into a page and they would be able to themselves look up a record, right? So what we did in this demo right here is a a way for the tenants to look themselves up. Um, and let's go to the tenant table here to make it clear. So yeah, so we got tenants here and what we want is for them, you know, we have just a, a password field here, just, you know, you add any field and kind of use it as password. And the goal is to allow them to edit that record that they own. So if I go here and I put this tenant, then I write that password 
And by the way, that login, login screen is fully customizable. You know, you can make it one field, you can do whatever you want. And um, yeah, so you come in here, you can um, edit the record that belongs to that user and easily save. And then that user, you know, can just make changes to their profile without emailing you or anything like that. So yeah, that's the ability to find records within a table using the form. Now, the last demo I have here is the portal. And this is kind of like one step further. Like what if you wanted people to log in and add records, do other stuff, not just like look at a single record, right? Mm -hmm. So what we have here is a maintenance request system. So the goal was um, let's allow people to add maintenance requests, uh, log in, edit them, see their status. And um, yeah, so just a system, a full system for maintenance requests. Mm -hmm. So if I go here, um, let me just close this. If I go here, this is the, um, this is the table. This is the setup portal. So right, so far, I haven't really shown you what it looks like to set up these things, mm -hmm. but this is roughly what it looks like. Um, you would create a new extension and kind of um, just select your table, select your fields, et cetera, just kind of the configuration of the extension. So you're not designing it or much of that, but you're mostly setting how do you want it to work. Um, so let's go ahead and check this one out. So this one is a grid. So we have two different versions of the portal. One of them is a grid and one of them is cards. And I'll show, I'll show both here. Mm -hmm. um, so let's log in with that same person. So if you notice, um, the main service requests are in one table, but the tenants are in a different table, right? So the idea here is like, you literally have a user's table and that user's table can be used to just log in across all of your base and identify who that person is. So um, it's a full user system essentially. So let's grab that user again and just use that password again. All right, so these are the maintenance requests that this person has so far. Um, you can sort of see the status here, pending versus fixed. Uh, they can, um, if you want them to, they can edit records. And the nice thing here is there are things you want them to be able to edit, but there are things that you don't want them to edit, right? So for example, um, unit, you don't want the user to be able to change the unit because you know they can't, <laughs> they're not supposed to at least. So we disable editing for this, um, but we allow you to change that request, right? So you can change the test, um, the, the text of that. You can save it. Everything is instant, it'll show up immediately. And um, let's see. So one other thing that is cool about these portals is because the user is logged in, any record that they add is automatically linked to them. So if I, as a logged in user, if I just click this and I'll just say, this is some request, and then I'll save, right? As soon, well, it show, it'll show up here, but as soon as I go into Airtable, that thing, that record is automatically linked to this person with you know everything correctly set up. And sorry, not that, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. So this one right here, linked to the correct user, et cetera. So yeah, just one of the nice things about having this full user system is that there's so much you can do if you know who's logged in. So there's more, much more to be done here for sure, but this is kind of our, MVP of this of this whole um, portal idea. Well, Abdul, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. And we're sure I... great talking to you. Yeah, it was really lovely. Seriously, and uh, we'll put links to um, mini extensions in the notes of description below. But it's miniextensions.com. Yep. Go yeah. there. You can set up for a free trial. You can use any of these extensions pretty quickly. And um, yeah, we have demos all over the website. If you just want to check them out, it's one click away, pretty much. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Abdul. It was a pleasure. You too. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. That was incredible. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. I know that for us here at Gap, we use mini extensions constantly with our clients. There are so many use cases where we need that something extra that Airtable can't do by itself and mini extensions nine times out of 10 is where we head because it's so quick, so easy and such an affordable plugin. So I hope you got a ton of value. If you did, be sure to check out the link below and go explore mini extensions for yourself. And I will see you in the next video. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly. And we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. 
So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.